Hello, and welcome to Incident Reporting. I'm Richard Burlon, Environmental Health and Safety Team Leader. I'm Mark Dama, Team Leader, Insurance and Risk Management. We know scouting involves a lot of program and activities in an outdoor classroom. And while safety is integral to the program, we also know that sometimes injury, illness, property damage, or the need for emergency response is going to happen. In addition, there have been times when adults and our youth engage in inappropriate behavior or abuse occurs. And when it does happen, it's important that these incidents are entered into Risk Connect through either my BSA or the volunteer portal. Because if anything good can come out of an incident, it's the knowledge that we all gain from the incident report to help us prevent similar occurrences in the future. Not only should you report an incident, but reporting it promptly is also critical so we can respond and assist you in a timely manner. By completing and submitting an incident report, you help us identify potential liabilities to be prepared for any expenses or responsibilities that may occur and address behavioral issues. We can't stress enough how important it is to report an incident. So Mark, help us out with the process. What exactly needs to go into an incident report? Basically, you gather the facts, just the facts, the who, what, when, where, and how. But don't try to theorize or give an opinion about what you think may have caused the incident, and don't just transcribe the first aid action taken either. We have tools for you to use as a checklist to remember what to ask and writing tips so you get clear, concise, and complete information. You can find these tools in several places, the Incident Reporting Kit, the Guide to Safe Scouting, as well as online at the Scouting Safely website. Use the tools provided to help you get the most accurate information regarding an incident. Okay, so you've gathered the who, what, where, and how. Now what? Well, you need to enter this information into Risk Connect. Come on, allow us to walk you through it. If you are a BSA employee, you will access Risk Connect via My BSA. If you are a volunteer accessing the public portal, click on the link provided on the Scouting website. Select Create a New Incident from the orange tab on the left-hand side of your screen. Select the box for No under Near Miss. A new selection will appear under the Near Miss options entitled Membership Infraction. Select No. A new selection will appear under the Membership Infraction options entitled Workers' Compensation along with a General Liability selection. Select No for Workers' Compensation unless it is a part of your incident. Select Yes for General Liability. Click Save and Continue. Now you can fill in the information from your incident report, specifically the required fields before proceeding to the next screen. It's important to note that incident time is in military format. The quality of information in all reports is important to all offices. You have up to five days to edit or add information to your report. For more information regarding their associated field, simply hover over the blue icons. For Council slash BSA location, Click the magnifying glass. In your new window, click the carrots to the right of the boxes to find a searchable hierarchy. You can search for your council or BSA location by filling in part or all of the name, city, state, or postal code, followed by clicking the magnifying glass to your right. Once you find the correct entry, double click to add to the form. This is an example of a required field. When fields are completed, based upon the available information, select Save and Continue at the bottom of your screen. You will now be prompted to enter information about the claimant. Do this by selecting the Add General Liability Details button. Fill in the information about the injured party and claim details. When finished, select Save and Continue after each page and submit on the last page. After completing all the General Liability Details section, select Submit. You can continue to add claimants to your report by selecting the Add General Liability Details button again. Notice, you can also edit and delete claimants from your report by selecting to do so under the Action column on your screen. When finished adding claimants, select Save and Continue. You will then be prompted to enter witness information. You can enter up to four witnesses and their information. When finished, select Save and Continue. Notice to the left of your screen, you have tabs indicating the pages on your report you have filled out. If you think you need to edit information, you can click on those tabs to return to the specific page you are looking for. Remember, you must select Save and Continue each time you edit information in your report for the new information to be recorded. When you arrive at the Submit page, you may enter additional attachments such as medical forms or photos by selecting the Add Attachment button. This will allow you to choose from records in your device. If you have no other editing or information to add to your report, 
select Submit at the bottom of your screen. You will receive a confirmation window asking if you would like to continue. If yes, select Yes. If no, select No, and you will return to your Submit page. When you select Yes, you will receive a window with an incident number in the format of IN followed by a series of numbers. Keep this incident number for your own documentation as each incident number is specific to its associated report. Select OK. You will be redirected to the welcome screen where you can start new reports. Below the Create a New Incident button, you will also see a table formatted list of your incident reports that are available for editing. After five days of the initial report submittal, the report will be gone from that list. If you wish to edit a report, select Edit in the Actions column located on the left side of the table. If you are unsure of your incident number, you can also read through the columns and rows. Incident description and location are required fields and are a good way to decipher which report you are looking for. This is an example of why quality information is necessary for reporting. That seemed easy enough, and all that information is crucial to getting the who, what, when, where, and how. Now a lot of you think that you're going to get in trouble by filling out an incident report, but that's not the case. In fact, it will help you if that incident becomes a claim, keep your camp operation compliant with NCAP, and help keep scouting safer. Let's say a troop is on a camp out and little Tommy trips over a rock and sprains his ankle. Now let's say you've received all the information, the who, what, when, where, and how, in order to complete an incident report. Now you are ready to submit it through Risk Connect. A few weeks later, Tommy's mom decides she wants to make a claim against you for the injury to Tommy. The incident report helps us to help you in keeping that claim cost reduced and address it with an appropriate and timely response. Accurate reporting also helps us identify real issues versus the ones that folks might perceive as being problems within the Boy Scouts of America. And if the same types of incidents keep being reported time and time again, then we'll know we've got a situation to address with better training, resources, or other solutions. Just in case you're wondering, cuts are one of our top incidents and motor vehicle accidents are the top claim. Unfortunately, unknowns are also very high, so please identify whenever possible the best response that's the closest match to your situation. One last benefit to tell you about is whether your council's Enterprise Risk Management Committee meets annually or quarterly. The staff advisor can contact us and will happily provide a list of the incidents for your review. So that's it. We know injuries can occur, but like we said at the beginning, if anything good can come out of an incident, it's the knowledge we gain from the incident report to help us prevent future occurrences and it helps you to be prepared. Thanks.